And tonight, Iran is warning if the U.S. strikes back, they will respond, quote, to you in America. So should we worry about attacks on U.S. soil? We asked the director of Terrorism, Intelligence and Security Studies at Embry-Riddle in Prescott. Iran certainly has the capability to launch terrorist attacks within the domestic United States. The issue is going to be whether that makes sense to them in terms of the consequences of doing that kind of thing. So capability, yes. Uh, assets and resources, resources definitely. The now, we also spoke to a retired explosives investigator about what may have been used to attack the bases and what kind of destruction these missiles can cause. Carissa Planalp continues our team coverage tonight. He says after the dust settles, explosive ordnance technicians will get to work at the scene, collecting clues, learning more about the attackers. Every time a, a device went off that caused the death of a coalition force, we'd be dispatched out to do a, a, a post-blast analysis. Anthony May, a retired Army explosive ordnance disposal technician who served in Iraq. May describes the type of firepower Iran is claiming it used when it attacked American soldiers at a base in Iraq. The ballistic missiles that Iran is claiming uh, coming from, uh, from Iran itself uh, could contain upwards of 5 to 20 pounds of explosives in the warhead itself. Uh, that's a significant uh, amount of uh, explosive material. Based off images he's seen coming out of Iraq, May does not believe the devices used had any guidance systems or long-range capabilities. These are basically aim it in a direction, you launch it, it flies, it lands where it lands. He says crews will immediately get to work, analyzing evidence from the scene to find out exactly who is responsible for the attack. Do a battle assessment, uh, do a crater analysis, uh, work, the, work the, the explosion scene to determine what type of missiles or ballistic rockets were actually fired. Uh, and that will tell them a lot. And in fact, it will validate the claim whether or not they came from Iran or whether they were these local uh, proxy uh, fighters that were launching them from the back of pickup trucks. May currently works for a major defense contractor that builds missiles for the military. He says they successfully pulled their personnel out of Iraq last night. Carissa Planalp for Arizona's Family.